we warmly acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land from which we are coming to you. We pay respect to Elders past and present and all First Nations peoples who have told their stories on these lands for many thousands of years. Sue, congratulations on receiving the 2021 Australia Council Award for Dance. Thank you. So Sue, we're here to celebrate the many achievements of your career to date and your contribution to dance as an art form. I think you're particularly well known um, here in Australia for your extraordinary fusion of dance in a live performance context, um, as well as dance on film. How did those two interests evolve and, and intertwine for you? Yeah. Look, early in my career, I found film through a collaboration with uh, a wonderful young artist, also a Kiwi, Louise Curram, and she was studying in Melbourne. And she was not coming from a narrative filmmaking perspective. She was very much visual art. Mm. So she would come and distill my full length works into these very concise, beautiful little short films. I just became enamored by the power of what that camera lens could do. And then of course, how the edit could shape and change uh, the choreography. Let's start here with this um, beautiful manipulated image. What I've done is I've, in a very lo-fi way, I've cut out the image and, and manipulated it. I've, I've added bodies to the scene which weren't actually there in rehearsal. And what year are we talking about? We're talking here? 1985. 1985. Way before I even had a computer. Scissors <laughs> and glue. <laughs> <laughs> and in true dance work style, we flipped things on its head. So this event was for the choreographer to realise the composer's vision. Right. So it was not the other way around. The composer was not there to realise my vision. Mm. I had to realise his vision. This was my beginning. Pioneering. That's right. And Danceworks was that. You know, I, I fell into that company in the most remarkably privileged way. I hadn't even finished my degree at, the, at VCA and I became a founding member of that company. What can dance on screen do for you that it, it can't do in a live performance? It enables me to manipulate space in ways that is impossible in a theatre, to get much closer to the action. So, you know, the close up, to show that to an audience, which uh, is something that is normally not visible in a theatre. In fact, the edit has become choreography for me. That brings us to the next image, this beautiful image of an ensemble of dancers, which very much speaks to the idea of collaboration in your work. Absolutely. It just reveals to me this importance of connection and collaboration, not just within the dance discipline, but you know, with composers and designers and lighting designers. Collaboration has been a key, a key part of what I do. Let's talk about film, um, which is, you know, one of the core components of your practice and where you've really sort of led and innovated here in Australia for, for many years. This is an image of, of a sort of film shoot in motion. Realising what the camera could give me was just you know, completely uh, mind expanding. Suddenly the technology of the camera just, yeah, provided a completely different lens for me to see through and question where choreography could go and what it could be. You know, it opened up new audiences for me, new context to, to show the work in. And some of that film work as well has opened up the possibility for you to um, choreograph your work in extraordinary spaces. Yeah, the human relationship with the environment, with the landscape is, is key. So to, to work with these incredible cinematographers and drone pilots who can now just give me you know, infinite ways of seeing the body in the landscape uh, is just so exciting. Here we have um, one of your sort of other experiments with drones capturing a, a vast kind of aerial landscape. Oh, I, I love the abstraction of it you know, mm. and the painterly aspect of a body and landscape. A beautiful painterly um, quality to it. I am able to create spectacle through this. Yes. Another recurring interest in your work, both in live performance and through film, is in the idea of portraiture. Where does this interest in portraiture come from and, and how has it recurred through your practice? Yeah. How I got into it? Oh, it's a long story, but uh, I was making a feature length film um, called Virtuosi, where my cinematographer and I were traveling the world 
filming New Zealand dance artists actually in situ in in countries where they had moved to. I didn't set out to be making portraits of them, but I realized that's what I indeed was doing. So what's the, the best advice anybody ever gave you in your career? Um, I think to feel that it's not a competition. Mm. That, yeah, creating art is not about competing. It's one of the privileges of art. It's one of the few vocations where it's, it's not a competition. It's yeah. about um, new horizons and it's about creativity and, and new discoveries. So true. And at key moments in my life when you feel that, it, you know, the chips are down, you feel like you, that it is a competition, it's so important to realise that it's not. Let's talk about the award that you're receiving today. What does it mean to you to receive an Australia Council Award? Oh, well, I must admit I felt extremely heartened by it uh, and surprised actually, because I didn't realise that I actually was up for the award. So yeah, it was a wonderful thing. And um, it, it gives me perspective, it makes me feel that it is, the work has been recognised as part of this ecology. I guess that's, what makes me feel so good about um, receiving this award because um, perhaps it shows other independent artists that there is a way to do it. I do want to acknowledge my partner, Richard Harvey. He has been central to my survival in this <laughs> art form. Um, he's a scientist mm. and a world-renowned um, scientist in the field of molecular biology. Mm. And what I've learned from him is this: the importance of finding perspective of my of of my artistic world and balancing it against the science perspective. Mm. He is my key reason for being able to survive in this world. I wonder if there's a mutual sense of curiosity about the world that, you know, that draws you to each other and that, um, Definitely. you know, that cross-pollinates between your very different careers. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, that art science interface is something for the future that I know I will um, focus on more. Mm. Yeah, because it's such a rich, wonderful um, potential collaboration, I think. So I think we in the community are really proud of you um, uh, on receiving this award. I think we're very excited for this acknowledgement of your extraordinary body of work. And it makes me even more excited to see what you'll be doing in the future as, as we move into the, the coming decades. Congratulations once again on receiving the 2021 Australia Council Award for Dance. Thanks, Jeff.